Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Nadia Van Shakrun, founder of thebeautydoctrine.com and Functional Beauty Principles. What's that? That's how you get to age your very best naturally without intervention. I'm obsessed with the science of longevity and health. And so in the last couple of years, I've been reading a lot about the hallmarks of aging. There are 12 of them and it's so important to get to know them because that's basically how we age at a cellular level. And if we know the root cause, then we'll know the solution. So today, the one hallmark that I'm going to be talking about called cellular senescence. So what is cellular senescence? In the simplest terms, it's when your cells stop dividing and they just enter this state of limbo. These zombie cells are alive but acting like zombies because they're not functioning the way they're supposed to. And instead of dying like healthy cells do, they just hang around and release toxic inflammatory compounds. And what that does is damage nearby cells. We don't want that, do we? So let's get rid of those senescent cells. So just imagine you're spending a fortune on great skincare, you're applying it every day, and yet there are these zombie cells within the skin slowing down the progress. These zombie cells can impair collagen production, increase inflammation, and cause oxidative stress, all of which can show up as fine lines, hyperpigmentation, dull skin, and skin that's not able to heal and regenerate. So how do we deal with these troublesome cells? Well, let's apply some functional beauty principles. As always, I'll start with diet, get into supplementation, then topical solutions. The foods you eat can directly influence the way that your body clears out these senescent cells. You're gonna need four things. The first one is an antioxidant rich diet. Second is a diet that contributes to low inflammation. Three is reduction in sugar intake. And four is intermittent fasting to create that autophagy and kick out those cells. Some really good options for antioxidant rich foods are gonna be blueberries, broccoli, cabbage, duck leafy greens. They all have lots of nutrients antioxidants, anthocyanins, and sulforaphane. To reduce inflammation, we need to be looking at fatty fish like wild-caught salmon, wild-caught sardines, omega-3 fatty acids, walnuts, as well as spices like ginger and turmeric. And the sugar reduction is paramount because that glucose attaches itself to our protein, hence collagen, and it makes it really stiff and less effective. This not only contributes to wrinkles, but worsens that cellular damage. The fourth point is the intermittent fasting that is paramount to create that autophagy, which is self-eating. That's when your body starts recycling those misfolded proteins, clearing out damaged cells, basically taking out the trash. I will do a full video on autophagy, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's talk about the real game changers, and those are supplements that actively target cellular senescence and create that repair. At the top of the list is NMN, which is a precursor to NAD. That is a critical molecule necessary for energy production within our cells. It also helps with DNA repair and overall cellular health. As we age, our NAD levels drop and that creates faster aging. So the more NAD, the less aging. The second molecule is called resveratrol. It's a powerful, powerful polyphenol that you'll find in grapevines as well as in blueberries. It helps activate these very essential proteins called sirtuins which helps regulate cellular health and mitochondrial function. Essentially, it gives your cells an energy boost, helping them repair more efficiently and even triggering beneficial genes for longevity. Dr. David Sinclair, he's a professor at Harvard and he runs a research on longevity. He's been taking resveratrol for many years now. I actually met him in 2013, I believe, in a conference about resveratrol in Paris. He's reversed his biological age by at least a decade. Next is cyanolytics. Those are a group of compounds that target those senescent cells, getting them out of the way, allowing for healthy cells to thrive. And two of those are quercetin and fisetin. They are flavonoids that are abundant in many fruits and vegetables. Quercetin you can always find in apples and fisetin in strawberries. 
make sure those two are organic because they tend to have lots of pesticides and herbicides otherwise. The bonus tip for you, if you take quercetin, which you find in apples and combine it with bromelain, you'll get much higher absorption and an anti-inflammatory effect. Niacinamide, if only you knew how amazing this molecule is, it'd actually be really irritated in high doses. But if you find the right niacinamide product, you are golden because not only it targets cellular senescence, but also that glycation that we talked about before. I have a video that is dedicated to niacinamide only, so find that and check it out. And the third category of ingredients that's gonna help you with that cellular senescence is something that helps with cellular turnover, and you probably guessed it, that's vitamin A, but again, in the right doses. I do not like or ever recommend prescription retinoids because those are really high concentrations of synthetic vitamin A, which can be highly inflammatory. It's just too much cellular turnover that's not going to help us much. We need just the sweet spot and that can be achieved with moderate concentrations of retinoids. I love a gran active retinoid, which you can find in the Bloom Effects one, which you can find on my website. There's also a beautiful, beautiful retinol by this brand uh, called Tonic, which I just brought on the beautydoctrine.com recently. Absolutely love it. And when you go on the beautydoctrine.com, you'll be able to find really good options for niacinamide as well as antioxidant rich serums. And typically that would be a good vitamin C serum. I have about four or five on there and I adore every single one of them. I don't have a favorite. And while we're boosting that cellular turnover and that skin function with the niacinamide and the antioxidants, let's not forget strengthening that layer, that barrier layer on the surface. And so we're curbing any inflammation that might be happening from the niacinamide and the retinols. And that's achieved with barrier repair serum. Put all of this together using the TBD method of application and you have yourself the perfect skincare routine. For noticeable, long-lasting results, you've got to look at your diet, your supplementation, and then clean topicals in the right doses. And stay with me to understand the 12 hallmarks of aging and what to do about them. Please don't forget to subscribe and send this video to someone you care about. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, be well, be safe, be beautiful. Take care.